Okay, so this is GTA San Andreas running on Monker's build of Ambien, and it's running great actually, uh, but I'm purposely running it without any extra cooling, and the reason for that is I've been sent some things to try. Uh, so GeekPie and 52Pi have sent me one of these low-profile ice tower coolers uh, with fan, which is excellent. It comes with a case. I'll show a bit more of it in a minute. They've also sent me a uh, Orange Pi 5 starter kit with all sorts of bits in it. So I'll have a look at that in a minute. But let's just go into the screenshot and I'll show you GTA running on this. So let's go back into the game and just show you that it's it's running absolutely fine, nice and smooth at 1.5 times. This is my 4 gig Orange Pi 5, as you can see on the top left hand corner in Conky, it's showing how much RAM usage, what is it, 2.49 at the moment. Uh, which is pretty impressive on this 4 gig Pi, running a PS2 emulator at the same time. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with how well it runs and how well it looks at 1.5. Probably would be able to go higher than this. Right, so let's pause that and just show you that I've also got the web browser running at the moment. Uh, I installed Conkey just to be able to keep track of everything. And uh, this is Munker's site where he has all the... Uh, well, most of these are RK3588 boards and all the different builds on there. But the build I've been sent was on a Google Drive link, and it, I'm sure it's a newer build than this one. So this is 19th of January. But just to show you a little bit about it, if I click on Show All Applications, you can see various different things in here and uh, really nice support on the gaming side. So we've got Steam, RetroArch, we got Wine for running Windows games, PPSSP, and this PS2 emulator. And here is my Orange Pi 5 in close-up, just showing that there was no active cooling or any cooling on there at all. It's just the board in a 3D printed case. And uh, I was running the operating system from an M.2 drive in this little Oracle Caddy, and it works really well from that. Uh, you can see I've got my Xbox controller plugged in. This was just a copy over the PS2 game. Uh, audio is coming through my speaker, so loads of things plugged in. Uh, but let's have a look at this kit. So what have we got in here? So some instructions, just an ordinary full-size HDMI cable, fan and the positive and negative aren't joined together, so we can use that in three volt if we want it a bit quieter or five volt if we want it to be cooler. We've got three heat sinks in here with little adhesive things. I never tend to use these. Um, but obviously it'll add a little bit of extra cooling. Uh, oh, we've got a, a SanDisk 64 gig micro SD card in there, which is this one. And also this looks like it's an SD card reader, is it? Yeah, so the SD card slots in this part like that. That's neat. And then we've got a power supply with a switch on it. And it's rated at 5 volt and 3 amp. And that's obviously USB-C for the Orange Pi 5. And then we've got some bits of acrylic. So this is the case with some standoffs and things in there. I'm not going to build that one because I want to build the other one because that's the one I'm more excited about. But before I do that, let's just show you it on Amazon. So you can see here, this is the kit in its entirety. And then we've got the case, which has got like a tinted top and then clear sides, access to the GPIO pins and all the accessories are there. And you can see how the fan mounts and it's pulling heat away from it, it looks like, from those arrows but you could always reverse it, whichever works best. And just showing the GPIO pins connected to the power. Yeah, very nice. So that is, uh, as I mentioned before, 5 volt, 3 amp. Now on the Orange Pi 5 site, it does say 5 volt, 4 amp, but I use the official Raspberry Pi adapter and have done since I've had my Orange Pi, and that's 5.1 volt, 3 amp, and it's been absolutely fine. And you could see just now how many things I had plugged into it. But if you are plugging in many drives, uh, you know, multiple drives, maybe some more mechanical drives and things like that, then maybe you might need a little bit more power than that. But I found that, yeah, I've never found I hadn't had enough power with this one. And that's the last bolt. So if we have a look through, you can see that the heat pad is making contact with the cooler and then it's passing up to here and then the fan's going to cool that heat sink. So the way they show it connected in the book is connected to the 5 volt pin, but I'm going to use mine connected to the 3 volt pin. But if you need extra cooling, you always have that option. Now the case kit came with some rubber feet, but this one doesn't, so it is sitting on the screw heads, which I don't like on my desk. 
So I'm going to put some feet on here. Uh, I've got some of my kitchen fitters left to load behind. Just pop them near the screws. Such a simple thing, but it does just make it much nicer to use. I definitely like the way it looks, nice and simple. So let's switch on. And you can see the light cycles through different colours. And that was my microphone right next to it. Okay, so it's nice and cool and incredibly quiet. You can see at the moment it's not doing much. I've got the web browser open. I've got the terminal open running Conkey. But let's start uh, the PS2 emulator and play 15 minutes of GTA. So I've been playing for quite a while now and uh, I've been deliberately driving around fast so it's, uh, it's making the CPU work harder and you can see that uh, the clock speed is running at 1800 solidly and the temperature hasn't gone above 53 degrees uh, and even at this very fast rate it's really coping with it well with the web browser in the background so definitely a lot better 30 to 40 degrees better uh, by having this cooler on and even and that's at three volts so remember that if you were to put it to five volts it would be even better so i'm very happy with the performance of this really like the way it looks the simplicity of it but uh, also just love the fact that it's very very quiet and uh, it becomes another 52 pi product that's great at cooling an sbc okay so i hope all this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe when you need to get your car sprayed in a hurry. Come on, man. That's better.